Which one's yours? This one? Yeah. All 31. All 31. Yeah, so we broke into the space between last night to get the cameras. Thank God. And uh, we were immediately uh, accosted by Chuck and Hattie. <laughs> it doesn't take him long. I've already done it three times. They keep it's fogging up. It fogs up all the time, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. Well, just because so getting out of the, oh, yeah, and it was in the air conditioning. Uh, all right, Mr. Wibble, what are you feeling today? Well, okay, I'm, I'm feeling uh, wallet thin. <laughs> And we mentally, haven't spent the money quite yet. Have mentally, no, to, well, but it's tugging. Yeah. It's tugging. I've all spent that it. Pocket. I've spent it. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's out of your possession. <laughs> yeah. So, and mentally broke down. So oh. we'll just see how this goes today. Okay. So, but uh, yeah, the adventure continues. The adventure right continues. Here. And you? How are you feeling? Don't wait, buy wait. A boat. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't ever buy a boat. <laughs> ever. <laughs> just keep sailing with Scott and Holly. I try to tell you that. I know. <laughs> Holly's always right. Well, congratulations. Well, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at her. She's so pretty. I don't recognize the mornings, Tells. <laughs> I, use the, I use those as rags all the time. I brought a bug spray. My wife doesn't let me know. So after getting ourselves familiar with all the systems, it was time for sea trial. So we took her out to sea. It's like driving a $1.2 million bus. Yeah, you're a happy boy now? What those lawyers and bankers and insurance people do to me now, this boat is the deal. Wow. Huge fun. Awesome. So fifteen hundred dollars. One hundred and eighty-five dollars. Right. So I'm figuring a fifteen hundred dollar month habit plus three twenty-five hundred dollars a month for insurance and a sundries plus so about twelve thousand. There's lots of pluses. <laughs> wow. I guess you better get a job, Randy. Uh, no. <laughs> it's a good thing I have two businesses going. <laughs> No matter how hard of a time I get Brandy about his bow thrusters, they are awesome. You can put this thing anywhere. This current crazy world has made you want to sail away with us. Check out our website, sailtsb.com, for more info. And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and bell. It doesn't cost you a dime, and at the pace we put out videos, it won't annoy you either. The Leopard 53 Power Cat is made by Robertson and Kane. It's a relatively newer model, only about two years old. And with the sea trials and paperwork out of the way, it was time to give her a name. And with a name out of the way, it's time to outfit her. And the first thing on our list is an ultra anchor. So beautiful. Tell me, the, tell me the plan. Okay, so the idea is to rope the current anchor. Toss the line over there where Scott will be waiting. Then he pulls the anchor over there while we let out the chain. Does that sound like a plan? Yep, that's what we were talking about last time. Got it. Okay, so. While Jack let out the chain, I hoisted the anchor up on the dock, getting ready for the refit, getting this old delta off. Putting the Ultra on. And it's always a good idea to uh, tie your anchor off to the dock. That way it doesn't end up at the bottom of the marina and you have to go uh, fishing for it. Well, here is our Mac Daddy Flip Shackle. The way this works is as it brings the anchor up, it's going to flip the anchor right side up so that it automatically runs right up into its chaseway. So let's get it installed. And here we have our 100 or 45 kilo, uh, well, you know, ultra anchor. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's about the only anchor to own on a boat. Now you know I wanted to be here at nine. Because in Florida, it's already ridiculously hot.
So, what we're doing is, is these pins are keyweighed. So we're gonna stick the pin through the chain, line it up on the other side. And then we're gonna add a smidgen of this wonderful underwater Loctite, which we will definitely keep after we're done with this job. Okay. We'll just throw a shoot. That is a highly specialized swivel right there. Yes, it is. And they are not cheap, but they are worth every penny because they will flip the anchor over, as you will see in a second, and align it to go up its chase way. This is what we think of ultra anchors. They're just shit. <laughs> they are the shit. That's coming. Relax. Uh, too many uh, cheats, not enough Indians. <laughs> Now, as you'll see in just a second, as the anchor's coming up, the swivel will do its job turning the anchor and aligning it with its chaseway. And it's a wrap. Ultra anchors. They're the shit. Tell us what we're doing. Where are we going? Leaving. How are we doing it? We, we are, are going to haul out. Going to haul out at Cracker Boy. Boat works. We're gonna put some lights on the bottom of this big fat girl and she's gonna shine in the ocean <laughs> at night. <laughs> and we're leaving. There's Captain Scott. Still good back there on the rear? The key to any good crew is communication. So we broke out our headsets. We don't use them that often on the space between, but we're definitely going to use them on naughty nights. So how long is the trek up there? Well, 12 knots, three and a half hours. We're going to have now, so you got to get time up here. Time is 11.50. So we're going to have to step it up a little bit. So we have, um, we're supposed to be there at 3.30? Now it was time for all hands on deck as we try to squeeze this fluffy girl right in there to the... We're going to have to get off of it shortly. Yeah, sure. So you swim under to make sure everything's in the right place? Every time? No, they, they, they're like us. They've never hauled this. <laughs> oh. So they didn't do this with our boat? No. I know the older models. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, thank you. Got you. Thank you. How much does she weigh? 
water to make sure that they've never put slung on slung one of these before so we had to make sure they were slinging in the right place you got a pretty bottom don't forget to join us next time as we install some underwater lights and we take you behind the scenes of a container ship plumb full of leopards and we show you how they offload them see you next week